upset at being called names and I really hate being called names, honestly. Like that's one of my things that I like hate more than anything, pretty much. trying to make this video and I can't freaking do it because I just I don't want to look at myself but I have to be the one to talk in this video because I'm the one who's making it so I guess I have to look at my bad arms anyway so I was talking about much name calling hurts and I don't know what it is about it but it's pretty much the most painful thing besides like somebody talking crap about your character like saying you're a bad person or you're this or you're that or you're I don't know, being called, like, being called a bitch is, like, I don't know what's so offensive about that, but it's almost like you, you're, like, you're, like, a ruined woman. You're, like, a man woman, you know? And I really hate that. Like, I hate, I don't know if I'm just sensitive or what, but, like, is it okay culturally to just call you a name? Like, okay, dickhead. You know, okay, thanks, asshole. Like, I, I try, like, I try to embrace it and I can do it. Like, in public, I can do it. It's not, I mean, people are people. Not everybody can. But I mean, when somebody looks you in the face and they're looking at you, and then they call you a really hurtful name and you know that they're like thinking really hateful things about you and instead of just giving you a look and walking away like I like to do if I'm upset I'll look at someone and like give them a look and then I'll go away because I know something probably happened wrong I probably got the short end of the stick but people don't think that people just say oh you're stupid oh you're dumb you're an idiot you're retarded you know what I mean my ex would say stuff like you little motherfucker blah 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 like horrible stuff horrible stuff so I wanted to show you what how weird I think it is so I'll be right back I have some of my favorite names here, or I should say least favorite names. Here we go. Love that one. Here's another one I love. It's a great one. This is my personal favorite. Let me put that up here so that people can see that. And then, this one's great. This one's really politically correct. There we go. So, um, yeah. I'll just, I'll just keep going on. In my day, like, oh, you're crazy. Ooh, okay. Keep going on with my day. You know, if something else happens, oh, you're a psycho. Okay, cool. 
All right. Man, you're so fucked up. Oh, that hurts. You know, but I'm still getting on with it, you know? Oh my God, you're so retarded. You look retarded. That looks retarded. Oh. Okay. Well, it's time to go to work. Hey, boss. How are you doing? Oh, I'm fine. Do, 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 do. Oh, hey, client. How are you? Hmm. Obviously doing better than you are, because you look a little crazy. You look a little fucked up. You wouldn't really expect somebody to go to work wearing a shirt that says these things, right? Well, why would you expect if you treat somebody however you treat them, meanly, whatever, and expect them to go on with their day? I mean, if you know that somebody has a job interview at 3 p.m., you don't call them good for nothing and why don't you go to work and you know whatever or oh you always have a messy room blah 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 or you never do your laundry like whatever it is just saying so anything it can be anything that can be hurtful it's how it's said the tone of voice like facial expressions like people can tell if something is out of love or if something is just somebody not being that nice and if they can't tell then look like in my case if I can't tell if someone's joking or serious and they seem serious even if it's a joke if I, I don't know that like if some basically causing other people discomfort and making them upset does it make you feel better like, does it make these people feel better? I don't know. But here is my label that when I see people or when I present myself, but specifically when I see people, I assume that they're wearing this sign. What's up? Oh good, I'm having a great day. Oh thanks, you like my hair? That's cool. Yes, I do. I treat everybody as if they have a fragile sign on them. The reason is not because they're fragile. The reason is because words are hurtful. Words are powerful. Words are, words are so much more than we probably even know that they are. Words are so important that putting this little sign on something can make the difference, can make hundreds of dollars worth of a difference. Thousands, maybe even millions of dollars worth of difference if somebody breaks something that's supposed to be fragile. How then are people so much more resilient than an easily manufactured glass vase or a cup or something else that can break or a car that can be totaled? Like, how much more are people damaged? People are sensitive things. People. Without the right humidity, people won't be healthy. Without the right food, people won't be healthy. So, how can we be healthy if we're not speaking the right words? If people aren't speaking the right words to us? If we're not speaking the right words to ourselves? 
So next time somebody says, you're crazy, just tell yourself, no, I'm fragile. Next time someone says you're a psycho, just say so. No, I am just fragile. I keep dropping things. Someone says you're retarded. That looks retarded. Your outfit's retarded. That movie's retarded. Whatever it is. Nope. Fragile. And my favorite one. Are you too fucked up to be around anybody? Are you too fucked up to be around people? You probably are. You're too fucked up for me to be with you. You're too fucked up for this job. You're too fucked up to live on your own. You're too fucked up to do this, to do that, whatever it is. No, I'm not too fucked up, but I am fragile. I found this on the side of the road when I was walking home. And I had made all these little things before I left for work. All these little labels and I like hid them away because I was going to try and do the video before I left and I didn't get to. But on the way back from work, I was like walking, sort of just enjoying life. And I looked down and I see this. And I just felt like I created these. I internalized them. I heard these words. I didn't I didn't come up with them. I wasn't the first person that said these words about myself. Somebody else said them first. But to the world, to the universe, this is not what I am. This is what I am. This is what you are. You're just fragile. We all are. And I think the saddest thing is that somebody comes in a psychologist's room and says, hey, I've been diagnosed with borderline personality disorder. You know, I've been diagnosed as fragile. And then everybody thinks that, oh, now that you have a mental illness, you got to be careful with her. Be careful with him. But why weren't you careful before? Why, why did it take, why did it take someone coming to the point that they are so unable to function in the world that they have to go to a professional Do you realize, like, what if, your, what if your wife's cooking was so bad that you needed a professional cook? Are our families so bad that we need a professional to help us? Are our friends really that toxic? Are it just makes me like do I have trust issues or are people just not trustworthy? Do I have body image issues or am I just not perfect? Like Am I pro-recovery because I'm posting these videos? Or am I pro-Anna because I'm showing myself in the middle of a struggle to try and reach out and be a better person? You know, and it, why do we label people? Why do we do that? That's really annoying and it's really hurtful.